Hi guys, it's your girl Napisha Onai and I'm coming to you guys today because I'm having a bit of a lot crisis. I'm going to try to make this video make sense because right now my thoughts are just running around in my head. But um, yeah, so what's going on? What's my big dilemma? Well, first and foremost... I absolutely love my hair. I love my locks. Um, I can't see myself with anything else but locks. But um, if any of you have followed my journey from the beginning, you will know that um, I have combined. I've been combining locks, combing out locks since I started my journey because I wanted a larger lock. And so now I'm to the point to where I'm almost two and a half years in. I'll be two and a half years on April 5th. But um, I kind of feel like, even though I love my locks, I kind of feel like I am carrying somebody else's vision around on my head. Now, when I first got my locks, I wanted manicured locks but I wanted them to be much bigger than what they are um, it I don't know why they look bigger on um, the screen but they're really not as big as they look on here like they're actually pretty regular sized locks it's just that I have really thick hair but um, you know I came home from the from the loctician and I, I didn't really like my locks but I was so anxious to have them that I was like you know I want good parts let me just see if I can rework the parting to where they're still straight and I can have a bigger lock and so I did that as much as I could without messing up the, the pattern of the of the grid that she gave me but you know, I just kept doing that and doing that and doing that. I have so many two-headed dragons, so it's not even funny. And this is even before I decided that I wanted to freeform. And that's another thing. If you look at my early journey, I I really didn't twist my hair as much because I really liked the look of freeformed locks. But I was afraid that you know, maybe I wouldn't commit to it or I don't know. I, I just had, I didn't, I wasn't sure if I wanted the perfect parts or if I wanted the natural look. And so sometimes I would wear the natural look and then sometimes I would twist. But even though I didn't twist very often, I still have almost perfect, perfectly cylindrical. Not, well, not perfectly, but you can't tell that I would go you know sometimes two and a half months between retwist and that even when I retwisted I would freaking I would freaking wash it out in a week and you can't tell that by my hair and so now I've decided to freeform and my hair is loving it it's doing its own thing uh, it's, it's flourishing it's growing it's getting thicker but now I have these preformed roots that are meshing so nicely but then you come down to the end and I have these perfectly formed ends and so I'm thinking about combing these out starting another set um, if I do this, my plan is to comb them out, maybe wear my fro for a week to let my hair rest because, you know, combing out is kind of damaging. And um, sectioning my hair off, I don't really want perfect parts, but there's a certain size that I want my locks to be. And I feel like I have a vision of what my hair, or what I want my hair to be like. And the only person who can make that vision happen for me is me. And um, 
I don't know. I just I just feel it really strongly this time. Usually it's like, you know, I'll think about it for a couple of days. And I'm like, no, you know what? I've been two years. My hair is finally, you know, touching somewhere. Finally doing this thing. And I am not combing out my, my locks. And then I'm like, you know, once they grow out, you know, this part is going to be free form. It's going to look like I want to look. And I'll just trim, trim, trim. But then I'm like, you know, it's going to take longer for me to grow them out and trim 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 then it would be for me to comb them out and just start a new a new set my hair locks really quickly i have what i don't know the numbers 4b 4c hair it locks like it was made to lock because it's so freaking nappy it's gonna do it anyway and so you know while i'm waiting on my hair to grow out and trim 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 I could just come out, restart, and then wash them lock. And that would be a whole new journey for me. And honestly, the person that I was when I started this set of locks, I've grown. I've, I'm constantly changing. And the person who I was when I got this set started, that person is is still me but it's not me uh i have different likes i have different values i look at the world a different way and so i don't know you guys um i haven't made a decision i'm still thinking i'm still weighing the pros and the cons um let me know what you think because I mean, I'm not going to, you know, say, well, this many people say I should do it. This many people say I shouldn't. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that I should and why or if I shouldn't and why. And, you know, just give me some feedback and I will make my decision. You know, I'll make whatever decision I want because ultimately this is my hair. And, you know, if I lose subscribers, that's fine with me I mean I love you guys I love the support that you give me I do I, I actually appreciate I look every day to see if somebody's watching my videos but pretty much this is to document my journey you know when I start getting discouraged I look and see how far I've come into where I am now or you know I try to help somebody else with their journey but ultimately it is my journey but I would like to hear from you guys on this so just let me know what you think I mean if it was you would you or wouldn't you and why so I guess this is getting pretty long and I'm rambling and I'm really sleepy <laughs> it's daylight that means it's my bedtime okay so um comment please okay